Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to check if a given expression is real or not. The original problem is a little different, I'm going to talk about that towards the end, but I modified this problem a little bit uh, to make it a little um, sort of kind of easier for ourselves. So the question is we are given A plus BI to the fourth power plus b plus ai to the fourth power and we're gonna check if this is real or not okay so how do we check that let's go ahead and take a look first of all how are these two things related a plus bi and b plus ai looks like a and b switch roles here so it's important to have an I for these things, it's important to have an I for these kinds of things, but that can be learned. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take the first one because this kind of looks like a rotation to me. Why? Because if you take a vector and rotate it 90 degrees, the A and B coordinates kind of switch around, don't they? Sort of. Let's take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply A plus B I by I to give it a rotation. And that's going to give me AI plus, kind of like artificial intelligence, but it's just AI plus BI squared. Remember, I squared, and never ever forget that, I squared equals negative 1, right? That's very important. So from here, we get the following, AI minus B. Or you can write it as negative B plus AI. Hmm. I was able to kind of switch them around, but that brought an extra negative to the real part right? So what can I do? Let's go ahead and try the following. Instead of multiplying a plus bi, let's multiply a minus bi, it's conjugate, by i, so that we can get ai minus bi squared, which is ai plus b, which is b plus ai. And this is awesome. Why? Because I got the second expression, not from the first one, but from its conjugate. So what does that mean? It means that I can plug in this expression for B plus AI, this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite our expression and we're going to do the substitutions and we're going to do a lot of fun things. Okay, ready? A plus BI to the fourth power plus B plus AI to the fourth power. We're going to explore whether this is real. Now we're going to replace this one with that. Okay. So a plus bi to the fourth power plus b plus ai will be replaced with a times, I mean i times a minus bi, too many letters, to the fourth power. Make sense? So I did the substitution. Now, how do you raise a product to the fourth power? Of course, you're supposed to do each factor. So this is going to be i to the fourth multiplied by a minus bi to the fourth. But remember, i to the fourth equals 1. Why? Because I think about it. I to the first, I to the second, I to the third, or I squared squared. So this is one I don't have to worry about it. That's what's nice about the fourth powers. I really like fourth powers. Anyways, so the question is, is this real or not? Right? And that question is actually easier to answer than the original one. That's why we kind of had to modify this a little bit. Okay? How do you do that? So here's what I can do. S suppose the first number is z, right? Let's call this z. This will be z bar, right? Or you can call it w if you want. So z is equal to a plus bi, and w, which is z conjugate or z bar, is a minus bi. Now think about it. z plus w is just going to be 2a, which is real. z w is going to be a squared plus b squared. Again, this is real. And remember, this is the absolute value of z squared, right? Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and do the following. We're going to do a little bit of algebra here. Let's go ahead and square z plus w, which gives us z squared plus w squared plus 2zw. But z plus w is 2a, so if you square it, you're going to get 4a squared. And we do know that, what do we know? We know zw, so we can write this as z squared plus w squared plus 2zw, which is 2 a squared plus 2b squared. It's like 2a, 2b or not 2b, okay? And then we're going to isolate z squared plus w squared from here. 
and when you subtract you're going to get 2a squared minus 2b squared and of course that's also going to be real right now we're going to do the following to get to the fourth powers we're going to square both sides again and this is going to give us z to the fourth plus w to the fourth plus 2z squared w squared equals if you square this expression you're going to get four times a squared minus b squared squared which is a to the fourth minus 2a squared b squared i find it a little easier if you take out a two there and this is going to be the answer what are we going to do replace z squared w squared with this expression squared so that's going to be z to the fourth plus w to the fourth plus two times a squared plus b squared squared and then this will equal this expression 4a to the fourth minus 8a squared b squared plus 4b to the fourth power when you expand this and subtract it from here you're going to get z to the fourth plus w to the fourth as 2a to the fourth minus 12a squared b squared plus 2b to the fourth of course there is going to be some type of symmetry here and guess what if because a and b are real this is also going to be real so we basically showed that this is actually a real expression the original problem was a little different let me show you the original one was prove that this expression is always real and so if you think about it you basically did the we did the particular case for n equals one and the problem statement i changed a little bit it didn't say prove we were just exploring whether it's real or not okay so in general this is always going to be a real number of course if n is an integer right and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye